Right, so I'm installing the three broad uh, mobile broadband uh, modem USB stick, which is that gadget into a USB port. It is part of this package, or it is this package actually. So I've just inserted the stick. It says it's already automatically installed the device driver. I've now got that up. So what we'll do is run it and see what happens. Okay. Because according to the manual, it should all do itself automatically. Let me see find out whether that is the case. Mm -hmm. Hard drive activity. I'm sipping my coffee while I'm doing this. Now let's see, what else is it meant to happen here? Okay. Uh, it looks like I'm expecting... Uh, this is Vista user access control. It's going to ask me to do that and then allow this program. Yeah, let's do that. Now it continues with the install. Okay. It always gives US only, doesn't it, these things? So let's try that. That's a wise, okay, that's interesting. Right, this is quite straightforward. Yep, next, license agreement, okay, we'll accept that. Who reads these things? I suppose I ought to, but uh, looks pretty good to me. <laughs> okay, next. This will install it into the following, yeah, okay. Program files, yep, that's fine. Now ready to install. Okay, that's quick. Yep. Pretty straightforward, really. So I'm installing this on my Sony VAIO laptop, um, which is the machine uh, on which I will use this. No point putting it on a desktop. It's designed for when you're out and about. So uh, I certainly plan to be uh, trying that. So I'm currently at home, and uh, just to get it installed. Plus, it'll be a good start starting test to see uh, how uh, does it find the three three G network, and uh, does it connect okay, and uh, and so forth. So we'll find out uh, <coughs> in a second whether that works okay. And uh, let's see what else does the manual tell me. How to use it? Okay, fine. Uh, uses and safety. It's pretty straightforward, it seems to me. So, well, whilst that's doing that, I'll have another sip of coffee. Wow, it's uh, actually quite a lot of stuff it's installing there. The hard disk light. Yeah. DVD. DVD. is fast asleep while we're doing this. <laughs> oh, nearly finished. There you go. Add shortcut on desktop, launch data card on Windows startup. Now I don't want to do that because I'll only do that uh, once when I'm on the road. Now it says here, please insert the USB mode and run this program. Well, I've already got it inserted. Well, let's see what happens when I click on finish. Add a shortcut on the desktop. Okay. Then, uh, let's see, it says here, for the on-screen instructions, okay, fine, I've done all that, so what do I do now? I guess I, click on, I'll move that in a second, but in the meantime, oh, it's installing the drive survivor software again. I don't know that's doing anything. No, it's not at the moment. Uh, the other stick, by the way, is the um, mouse, that jobby. Pretty good mouse. Anyway, has it installed it? It has. Okay. Is something automatically going to happen? Let's see. Okay, that's installed successfully, it says. I guess I wait until it says finished. Yeah, you can hear the sound. Didding. Uh, don't see anything happening on the screen at the moment. Oh, it's done. 
Has that got anything moving there? No, it doesn't have it yet. So what's meant to happen now? Still a lot of hard disk activity. Oh wait, still installing stuff. Oh, okay, I see. Yep. Uh, oh, here we go. CD drive F mobile connect. Run auto run. Now what's that supposed to do? Um ba -dum Do I run that? Well let's do it. This has presented the dialogue. It wasn't quite what I was expecting. Oh, okay. Let's allow access on McAfee. Do I have the same date? No, I don't. Ah. I was doing stuff. Data mode works normally. That's good. Okay, cool. So it's given me that. And let's connect. Let's do that right now. Dial up, open port. Authenticating. Authenticated, connected. Ooh, I'm impressed. Okay, so it's given me access via the cellular network and that gives me an indicator of speed. This is, I think, one of the interesting issues that <coughs> how many people pay attention to this, I wonder. I, I probably would. The actual speed versus the claimed speed that it can do, and of course a lot depends on where you are, uh, the cellular strengths, or obstacles in the way, I mean, all that kind of stuff. I'm sitting in my dining room, which is uh, thick walls and lots of potential blockages to a clear line of sight to a cellular mast, but uh, it's given me a connection. Now there's a pop-up window behind. What's that? Is that a vista window, I wonder? Yeah, it is. Select a location. Um, I'll do the public location, which is what it's defaulting to. Okay, close. Right, we're in business. And in fact, the signal strength according to that is pretty good. So, uh, what's it giving me down here? It's a little icon going around and around and around. What is that, I wonder? Is that to do with this? I suppose. Okay, <laughs> a McAfee update. Okay. So, uh, what do these little icons do? That is messages, that is phone book. Settings, main menu. That's the connection screen. Okay, and I presume what I would do is just minimize this. If I hit the other button, I'll probably. That's it. And that goes where? Oh, uh, yeah, I see it. Into the um, system tray next to the McAfee one. Yeah, that is it. Free USB modem. And I see now, you probably can't see it too well, there's a green light on the modem itself underneath the 3 logo, which tells me there's a live connection. So, um, let's get this back up again. Open. Yeah. Well, that's impressively easy to set it up. So, uh, there we have the 3 mobile broadband modem set up, installed and running.